As hospitals try to discover better and more efficient ways to deliver care to their patients, they are finding themselves in the midst of a great transformation. Every day, new technologies are changing the face of medicine, and managing that information digitally is at the forefront of those changes. Technology in the hospital is changing. A digital hospital uh, basically is one that is no longer dependent on a uh, film media for any of the images that are captured. So everything is automated, um, fully computerized, and that really enhances the distribution and viewing ability um, for the end users, the clinicians, uh, nurses, and even the patients. But these new technologies are creating challenges for hospitals that need to better manage that information. Today, you'll see a lot of information technology at each individual department. The radiology department has a system, the pharmacy department has a system. The transformation we're talking about is both the move from paper to electronic, but it's also the move from a fragmented set of little departments into something that truly operates as a healthcare enterprise. This means that more and more hospitals are turning to their new centrally managed data centers as the place where patient information will need to be stored, monitored, and securely available 24-7. As I build more and more of these clinical systems, as I give physicians handheld devices to create notes, as I have bedside administration of medication systems to track the safe distribution and dispensing of medication, the introduction of each of these applications puts a greater load on the data center. More and more servers, more and more storage, more space, more heat, more devices to manage. There's also the complexity of managing all of those systems and how they relate to one another. One innovative hospital system that is fully embracing the idea of the digital hospital is Sisters of Mercy. With their corporate data center at their headquarters in St. Louis and 13 satellite data centers at hospitals in five states, Sisters of Mercy designed a more cost-effective approach, ensuring the highest system availability, security, and real-time monitoring for their new centralized IT department. I believe Sisters of Mercy Health System has been a leader in the initiative to move towards a total digital enterprise solution because they recognize the benefit that it would have for the patients and for the enterprise, both short term and long term. But to do that, Sisters of Mercy faced a number of challenges in order to bring cohesion to their IT system. One of the key things that I think uh, Sisters of Mercy had the foresight to realize was um, when you're choosing a data center for patient care, it needs to be monitored not only at the room level, but at the actual rack level. And one of the big reasons for this is because of the high density situations that we're seeing. If I have more applications, more processors, more blade servers, more storage, I need more power. And, and that generates more heat. As I cram these things together into smaller and smaller cabinets in order to get more and more computing power, I reach some natural limit about my ability to manage the environment in this data center. A raised floor and an air conditioner in the corner is not going to cut it anymore. Blade servers have so many great benefits to IT departments and companies in the healthcare industry. Blades allow you to pack much more into a rack, allow you to uh, consolidate your systems, and utilize your real estate more efficiently as well. The problems that creates are that traditional data centers were really built for anywhere between 3 to 5 kW per rack. And blade servers draw up to 20 kW per rack in power. And what that can create is a lot of heat, a lot of distribution issues, etc. The approach that Sisters of Mercy took was the in-row cooling approach with the infrastructure allowed them to pack as much as they wanted into a rack uh, and be able to effectively cool it, power it, and manage it over time. They're all tied in together at the management console um, and managed as a system. The problem with our, our uh, current data center was that we had uh, exhausted all of our capacity, generator, QPS, cooling. We are replacing all the existing infrastructure components with APC solutions. This is where we're going. This is a high density rack. As you see, there's more hardware in the rack. We fill from the bottom up. As a result of the increased hardware, there's more heat. As a result, we have to monitor from the top, the middle, and the bottom of the rack to ensure we have a good temperature throughout the in entire rack. 
The actual cooling for the high density rack is now done by the in row cooler. We have moved the cooling from the perimeter to where we need the cooling. This is focused cooling where the heat is. APC's system-wide approach, merging state-of-the-art in-row cooling technology, ISX manager software, and NetBot security, benefits Sisters of Mercy in a number of key ways. APC's technology allows us to have 99.99% uptime. If the systems aren't up all the time and that information is not available, we can't make timely treatment decisions. So we are always cognizant of the fact that high availability in digital imaging relates directly to patient care. The leading digital providers across the country are utilizing APC data centers and network uh, infrastructure solutions uh, because we're uniquely able to address the top issues that they have as they go digital. You don't have to oversize the systems because of the uh, modularity and scalability of them. Uptime and availability being able to monitor the systems, being able to handle the cooling needs of today's blade servers and blade centers, and having the service organization behind it to back them up when they need it. One thing is for certain, the needs of the digital hospital will constantly evolve and grow, and Sisters of Mercy's new data center allows them to be on the forefront of patient care. To be able to be on the leading edge of digital imaging technology gives us a competitive edge in the sense that we have the ability to provide the highest level of care with the best quality over any other institutions or competitors.